Hey folks, welcome back. Just doing a super quick update video for you real quick. Uh, I know I said I was going to do a question and answers video for the next episode. Um, I lied to you a little bit. Um, I am going to still do that. I just haven't compiled a full list of questions that I want to answer for that. But uh, the seasons are changing and I just wanted to show you uh, a little bit what this looked like out here. We're nearing the end of October. Um, it's been getting pretty cold at night down in the 30s, down to about 35. Uh, these guys have been doing great. As you can see, I've got lots of leaves that have been falling and they're accumulating on the top of this. So I think what I'm gonna do here soon, before it gets too much heavier uh, up there, is I'll, I'll get in here with a blower and I'll just stand underneath and blow straight up at these leaves, try to blow all these leaves out of here. My grapevine still has green leaves on it. I imagine that'll be withering up soon. And uh, the rabbits have really been enjoying their uh, their new enlarged deck area. They've been laying out here enjoying the cool weather. I think they're glad to uh, be done with the summer heat. They seem to really enjoy this time of year. And I do too. Sal's got a mosquito flying around him, irritating him. We're still waiting for a good hard freeze to kill off some of these mosquitoes. They are thick out here. I'll tell you, that's the one, probably the main downside to having these rabbits out here is uh, ever since I started keeping rabbits, the mosquitoes in my backyard have just been crazy. You know, they always have these rabbits out here. They got a nice blood meal out here that they can they can have access to any time, so the the mosquitoes just stick around in my yard uh, now that ever since I've had these rabbits. So uh, that's really the only, really the only downside there is uh, that I've had anyway with keeping these rabbits. Everything else has been just great. I really enjoy working with them. And this is Betty right here. Pretty sure she's got a nest underground, uh, pretty much right here where she's sitting. And then. This is Snow White over here, and I'm not sure who has a nest right here, but that used to be a really deep hole that's been filled in, so I'm guessing that's a nest that somebody's trying to hide. What do you think, Betty? But, uh, yeah. Yeah, everything's going great. Really enjoying the cool weather. The rabbits are really enjoying the cool weather. Uh, for the rabbit tractor, since they can't tunnel underground to stay warm, I did give them a little bit of shelter from the wind. I figure they can all cuddle up next to each other to stay warm too, since there's usually a lot of them in this tractor. But I also just draped a tarp over it. I've just got it weighted down with bricks all along the side. And it goes down across the back too, so that wind can't just travel straight through. And I leave one side open so that the ammonia from their pee doesn't build up under here and become toxic for them to breathe. Let's see if I can get the camera to focus back there. The wires are kind of messing up the focus. But, but yeah guys, uh, I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do with this tractor once it gets really cold in the middle of winter. I don't know if just having a tarp on it like this will be sufficient or if I'm going to have to come up with something more creative. So we'll just kind of have to roll with the punches and see what happens this winter and try to do the best we can do. Uh, if you guys have any experience with keeping rabbit tractors in the winter, I would be... Uh, definitely more than happy to hear any advice you have for what you do for your rabbit tractors in the winter to keep them warm. I honestly think they're going to be okay. Since they're on the ground, they can all cuddle up next to each other. It's not like they're in a hanging wire cage where there's wind above and below them. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. It'll be, uh, it'll be interesting to see how this works out this winter. It'll be my first winter where I don't have rabbits in hutches. So, uh, I'm excited, guys. It's going really well so far. So, uh, stay tuned. Subscribe. 
keep checking back. I'll have more updates for you. I'll get that list put together of questions that you all have asked me over the past few months, and we'll do a questions and answers video real soon. And, uh, yeah, until then, guys, thanks for stopping in, and uh, have a good one.